Hello, my name is Marcel Hemio. I'm the Inspire Program Manager. And today I'm going to show how a property would, would interact with the Inspire IT solution. So this video is for property owners or agents that have received an Inspire inspection of record. This is a new system and different than the one we use in the past for having properties mitigate their deficiencies. We know it's new. We want you to get familiar with this new system. We are excited about getting this new system to you. Let me demonstrate how the new system works. The Inspire solution is built off of Salesforce. Salesforce is a customer relationship management cloud-based platform solution. The functionality that you will see may not be the final design of the solution since we are constantly making improvements to the user interface, the flow of information, and other features. The Inspire tools will help you identify what the inspector saw when they were doing the inspection, what the inspector took a picture of, and identify what needs to be corrected in 24 hours or a 30-day time frame. Let's take a look at the interface. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how you would interact with the system. There are steps that precede this. One is your ability to log in, which I'll show you in another video and also the notification that you would receive in order to come to this site, which I'll show you in another video. So once you've logged in and you've received the notification that you've received an Inspire inspection of record, you will arrive at this site. And this site is what we call our community portal. This is where program owners and agents get to review the inspection and the results of that and gives you an opportunity to submit evidence of mitigation. So I'm going to click on the inspection. If you are a property, you might have more than one inspection. Um, if you have multiple properties, that is, that received an Inspire inspection, you would see them listed here. In this case, there's only one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the inspection ID. It's labeled inspection name but you'll see a lot of the similar information you saw on this screen before. In fact, I'm gonna go back because there's some things that I want you to notice. So I've clicked on this inspection view. And one thing you'll notice from this inspection view is there's pieces of information that'll tell you a little bit about this inspection. So first I can see an inspection ID. This ID is how we react, track this, this specific inspection at this property. This is the name of the property. This is who did it. Now the React QA internal is a group name. The vendor in this case is Federal QAs, uh, which is our federal inspector team. There could be a contracted team, which you would see listed here. Um, you will know if you are a public housing or a multifamily um, program. And here, this is public housing. I can see that this uh, inspection stage is that this is currently in progress. This can, this could vary, uh, by the time you get it, it might be in progress or maybe under review. Um, you'll see that the inspection date of when it occurred. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, inspection ID. The inspection ID will pull up two things. It'll pull up the inspection record, which is this, which is more likely a header record. So it gives you information that you would expect to see at the inspection level, but more importantly, and just as important actually is the deficiencies that were observed, recorded, processed, and inputted into the system by the inspector while they were doing the inspection at your property. So here you can see some of the similar information that I covered in the first screen. Uh, you'll see different pieces of information. Um, I'm in a training environment, so you can see some of the information here may not be correct, may, not, may be empty, um, but as we get into the into a, a more uh, inspection of record environment, you'll see most of this content will be filled in with, with uh, additional pieces of data. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on the view all so that I can see all of the deficiencies. And this gives me the view of all the deficiencies. So from this view, so let's recap. So I, there are a couple things that happened, right? So one, your ability to log in. So we'll cover that in another video. Two, the notification that was sent to you saying that this inspection was complete, this inspection of this property was complete, and you would click on that and that would bring you to the inspection view where you would see and find your inspection 
click on it, that would give you the inspection view, which is the header view of the inspection, like where it was, when it was, who did the inspection. And then we just clicked on the view all of the deficiencies. So I'm here looking at all the deficiencies that have been collected by the inspector at this site. Now at the top, I can see that, that there were about 50 plus items. As I continue to scan down, you'll get a more definitive number. Um, I'm gonna continue to scan down and there it is, 55 items were observed, recorded and inputted by the inspector at this inspection. And I can see them all here. The other interesting thing here is right off the glance, I can see that there's a unique ID for each of the deficiencies, which is something you wanna have. Um, the location, also I'll explain in a minute. Whether it's been appealed, we'll cover the appeal in another video. And then the corrective time frame. The corrective time frame for a deficiency is very important because if it's 24 hours, then you're gonna know if it was a life-threatening or severe deficiency that was cited by the inspector. Uh, these are ones where you'll have to provide evidence of mitigation within 24 hours. Uh, the other ones are moderate or lows, which have 30 days uh, for a corrective time frame or uh, longer. So that's the corrective time frame information. So what we wanted to do is outfit you with enough information so you can go through these, all 55 items in this case, and provide evidence of mitigation. Now, what what most likely happened is as the inspector was going through this, your, your POC that was alongside the inspector was making note of all of these deficiencies and how they occurred um, and what you need to do. In some cases, you might be filling out a work order right on the spot. In other cases, um, after the inspector has cited uh, the deficiency, uh, you can probably take um, uh, efforts to mitigate. So we're gonna go ahead and find a, a 24 hour example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this example, 11526. And because I know it's a 24 hour corrective time frame, which is very nice to know, because I see it right here. I can also see that this was tagged as a life threatening deficiency. So a life threatening deficiency is one that will fall under this corrected time frame of 24 hours, just like a severe one. Um, I can see that what the inspector cited was that there is paint or foreign material on the sprinkler head assembly. Um, there's the same ID that I had before. And uh, something that we're requiring um, of all inspectors is that they provide comments. So as the inspectors who cited this deficiency saw this, they took a picture of it, and at the time when they uh, made this observation, they also typed in to their iPad or iPhone um, additional comments to help you understand what this defect was. In some cases, as you can see here, where this defect was, um, a little example of what they saw as the um, culprit for this deficiency. Here you can see uh, this that this inspector, Joe, had said that, okay, well, this deficiency, and we'll look at the, the picture in just a second, is right outside of unit 136 and that there's tape on the sprinkler head. So let's take a look at the picture. So I'm gonna click on the mobile app image. I see the picture, it is outside of unit 136, supposing that it, that unit right over here. Here's the picture of the sprinkler head and yes, there is some tape that is on the sprinkler head assembly, which would be uh, the reason why this this deficiency was cited by by Joe. So as a property, you now will mitigate this deficiency. So the way to do that is there's this handy button here, submit evidence mitigation. So once you address this deficiency, in this case, remove the tape from the sprinkler head, you're gonna come here, you're gonna click Submit Evidence of Mitigation. It has the date and time. I'm going to say removed the tape from the sprinkler head assembly. I'm going to find the picture that said that. Here it is, sprinkler head fixed. It is uploading and it is done. It done. I see 
This is correct. I'm going to hit next. And there's a couple of things that you should see immediately. So one is I can see that the status has changed to evidence of mitigation submitted. And also in the notes and attachments area, I can now see that the sprinkler head fixed picture, which I selected and uploaded is now listed as an available attachment. So let's recap. A couple of things happened. So one, you were notified by the Inspire IT solution to go and view the results of the inspection. Two, you clicked on that link. And once you clicked on that link, you arrived at this community portal where you were presented the choice to go and view the results of that inspection. So you clicked on the inspection ID and we were at the inspection level. And once we were in the inspection level, I got to see the deficiencies by clicking on the view all. And I saw all the deficiencies. And from that view all deficiencies view, I noted, if you remember, there were 55 deficiencies. And from those 55 deficiencies, I selected this one, which is deficiency ID of QR 11526. It is a 24 hour corrective time frame, and as a uh, property that wants to keep your residents safe and healthy, you know that this is a life threatening um, deficiency. You want to take care of this right away. So you took care of it by removing the tape that was on the sprinkle head assembly. Once you did, you took a picture of it, of the fixed assembly. You went in and submitted the evidence of mitigation through the button that you can see up here. Once you did that, the status changed. Right, you provided some information that status changed to evidence of mitigation submitted. Uh, once that's been submitted, um, I can go ahead and uh, select the picture, and there it shows up in the attachments. The other thing is that it also shows down here is that this is what I wrote the tape had been removed. Um, this captures the time, this captures who did it. It was me, and uh, this mission is now complete. Thank you for your time. And like I mentioned in the, at the beginning of the video, there will be other videos to show you the different other parts of how to work with the deficiencies and how to work with the results of the inspection, the login, um, the notification, and how the appeals will work. Thank you very much.